Ajá. El futuro es uh, em, emprender un spa. Wow, hey, that sounds really nice. Yes, um, I have working for 30 years old uh, in the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, working all day, all week. And um, my, uh, um, for, I like it to beautiful. Hey, that's great. So, uh, have you been working in the bank, you told me? Yes. Oh, good. Are you an employee at the bank? Mm, sí, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, that's pretty nice. All right. Well, congratulations to you, Patty. That's very beautiful. Thanks. All right. Look at this. Today we are going to talk about immigration. That's to the topic. And tell me, what do you think about immigration? Mm, uh, every day uh, it's most difficult for immigration for United States. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. Mm, because Latin America, mm, Latin Americanos, no sé cómo decir Latin Americanos. Latin Americans. Latin Americans is like it. Mm, immigration uh, for United States for mejor, mm, mejor vida, mejor life. Mm -hmm. mejor. To get a better life. Uh, a better right, yes, that's correct. Hey, yes, that's it. Well, uh, I think that it is not only Latin, Ameri Latin American people, uh, because, well, I have read about many different countries where they have a diplomatic crisis. They have uh, something like, the, um, I don't know, war, for example. For example, Syria, we can be talking about Syria. And so people in Syria need to be looking for safeness, safety. So what they do is to look for a better place to live, to save their lives. What do you think about this, this fact about people in Syria? Mm, it's un nivel mm, I think because mm, for nivel No sé cómo decir nivel de vida. Ah, uh, for the level of life. The level of life, uh, it's um, down. Uh -huh. for, um, for, because have immigration a uh, other country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guess what? For example, the little babies in Syria, they are dying. And so they need to immigrate to other places where they can survive, where there are no bombs, when there are no fight. There is no fight. And do you know any other country in the world? where there is war? Mm. What? M más, um, más espacio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Do you know about any other country in the world 
uh, where they suffer for the war. For example, Syria, for example, mm -hmm. Afghanistan. Afghanistan, yes, you're right. Iraq. Iraq, poor people. Really? Uh, Palestina. Yes, that's it, you're right. And so they need to look for a migration uh, that they can survive, just that, to survive. All right, Patty, thank you very much. Now let's go to another part. Here we are. Here we have some words that you can use for expressing ideas about um, about immigration. Okay, for example, okay, here we are, judicial. Uh, could you help me reading, please? Uh, camp. Okay. Flag. Advocate. Uh -huh. Asyl asylum. 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 Okay. Asylum. Okay. Um, this one is. Identification. Identification. Uh -huh. Yes. European. Pro poverty. 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 It's what is? Uh, poverty means when people, a lot of people, are really poor. For example, um, in IT, there's such a lot of poverty. People is really poor. Uh, so oh, there, okay. in IT. Do you know any other country? where there is poverty? Mm, uh, no, I know, I know think so. No, for example, um, another very poor, poor uh, country is uh, in Africa. In Africa, you can find, for example, Somalia. Mm -hmm. Somalia, there, there is no food, there is no money. Okay, yes. And children, it's 100. Aha. Hey, what about Venezuela? <gasps> uh, yes. There's poverty in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. um, then for... I think Africa it's a, it's a more problem uh -huh, the biggest problem uh -huh. poor people really poor people in Africa poor people in Libya poor people in Afghanistan yes okay. all right well uh, look at this. Here we have some more words. So why why don't you help me to write into the chat some examples uh, where you are using these words to express something about immigration, some facts of immigration. Yes. All right. Thank you.
Listo. Very excellent. Uh, so let's read it. So you wrote, immigration is complicated because the rules are, uh, rules every day more strict, but people have better life in other country. Hey, Patty, that was really good. Just a little correction. Um, yes. Here we can say that immigration is complicated. That was correct. Immigration is complicated. Perfect. Because, uh, no comma. Okay. Because the rules uh, for immigrating, so we, can, we have to explain the rules. What rules? Okay. Okay. Immigrating every day. Uh, um, every day is a, a time expression. We could use it at the end of the sentence. So we can say, because immigrating, rules for immigrating are more strict, more strict not strict uh, because it is non-countable so we can use a plural so uh, immigrating rules or immigrating are more strict every day all right here you are the correction okay so uh, please check it and if you have any doubt if you say why Mikey why why this way of course, I will give you feedback. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. Excellent. Thanks to you. All right. So, uh, Patty, could you do more examples, please? Some three, three more examples. Yes. Mm.
All right, pretty good. You wrote immigration for better work, for better salary, free from that misery of some countries. Hey, that's pretty good, Patty. Congratulations. Okay, so let's do some corrections. Yes. All right, immigration. Immigration um, looks for, well, no, no immigration looks for. Immigration, uh, you know what? I, I, I'm trying to find the sense. I would change the word and you could say people, people immigrate uh, to look for a better job, okay. for a better salary, uh, free uh, and be free from that misery in some countries. Okay, you know what? Here we are changing a little. Um, as you wrote it, immigration better work. Uh, I understood it. But uh, the, the idea can be explained in a better way like this. People immigrate, la gente emigra, to look for a better work, para buscar, right? Mejor trabajo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. better sal for a better salary. Mejor salario, y, okay. And to be. Huir de la, de la miseria de algunos países. Uh, para ser libre to, and, and to be free, right? Do you yes. agree? Okay. Do you have any question about this correction? Uh, no. Excellent. No. Soy una piedra para el inglés, maestro. No, it's okay. You know what? It is very normal. It is very natural that you commit mistakes because it is not easy not any easy to manage the grammar of another another uh, language you know what i am learning how to speak french and oh my i am having the same problems that you have sometimes i say no i am not good on this i can't do it and no that's that is not the the, the truth i can do it but it's a process to to get used to it, get custom to do it. So in work. my life, yes. In, in my life, um, difficult. Mm, more English, mm -hmm. much, much. Yes, you know what? For a lot of people, for many people, difficult. English is difficult. Even you know, for me, it was very difficult at first. But hmm. it's just a question of practice. Very good. <laughs> Are you? I speak you very well. But I have practiced and practiced and practiced for a long time. So that's why I could do it. But it, it has been years. So don't be afraid of that. It's okay. All right. So please, could you give me two more examples? Uh, word, author word? Uh, yes, for example, you can talk about two, two more, two more. You wrote uh, about immigration is complicated, the second yes. one, people immigrate. Okay, give me two more, all right? Okay. Hmm. Uh, in chat? With you. Uh, write in chat? Yes, please, let's write in the chat. Okay.
Ready. At present, exist groups for Latin Americans in, Me in, in Mexico, waiting a rate for USA. Excellent. Patty, claps for you. It was really good. I thank you. <laughs> so, just one correction. It's at present, exist. Uh, no, it's okay. No, no, exist. Exist groups because it is plural. At present, exist groups for Latin Americans in Mexico waiting to arrive to the USA. Okay. I'm. I'm. Um, I forget a, it, it, two. Two. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. To arrive, esperando, este, llegar. If you write arrive, it means llega. If you write uh, to ar arrive, is llegar. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, yes, so. I, I forget to, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. The use of to gives the, um, the R, R, R ending in in uh, in Spanish, for example, jump, brinca, to jump, brincar. All right. So, what about work? Okay. Yeah, work, trabaja, and to work. Trabaja. Ah, excellent, Patty. Pretty good. One good. more, okay, and that's all. Yes. yes. Ready. Uh, there is a lot of security in the front, frontera hmm, to avoid the passage of immigrants. O sea, quiero decir que hay mucha seguridad en la frontera para evitar eh, que pasen los inmigrantes. Excellent. Very good, Patty. It is just a little correction. There is a lot of security in the borderline frontera Border. oh, okay. the borderline to avoid the to avoid immigrants to pass let me write it down uh, here there is a lot of security 
in the border line to avoid immigrants to pass, right? Uh, okay. I'm sorry, avoid. Okay. Hey, Patty, that's pretty. You know what? You are really good. It is good work. Okay, so let's go to see another another image. Yes. Uh, so, uh, in my point of view, Patty, these are some of the implications about uh, immigration. For example, here we have in the first image people looking for a better job and they can feel surprised they can feel fortunate when they get a job in canada in the united states in england in germany in france in all of the wealthy in all of the rich countries but it implies sometimes the separation of families it implies also dangerous, very dangerous trips where people can risk their lives. It implies also discrimination uh, that people who immigrate suffer. So, well, that's my point of view, Patty. But what about you? What do you think that is something of the bad parts for immigrants? Um, first, first picture, I think um, surprise for other country um, um, offered offer, offer job and uh, ex extranjeros strangers strangers um, mm, cause uh, surprise uh -huh, that's it uh -huh, that's surprising no because you say why why are they offering a job a job for people from other countries what do you think about it? What's your idea of the reasons why, for example, Canada, Australia are offering a job? Mm, I, I see mm, countries for uh, Europe. Uh -huh. Principal mm, Principalmente, no sé cómo se dice, no me acuerdo. Mainly? Mainly in Europa. Ajá. Uh, 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 um, uh, more offer um, jobs extranjeros. Mm -hmm, that's it. Well, what I think about that is that their policies uh, politicas, their policies about immigration are very flexible because they need people. In some countries, there are a lot of old people because they tried to control the natality, the, the, the birth rate. So they didn't have a lot of children and now they need people to work because most of the people who live there are old people. They are not uh, in the age for working and for producing. So they need young people uh, to be productive in those places, in those countries. I, that's what I think about the reason. Mm, uh, 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 um, I'm I'm 
no, no digo. <laughs> I know in the countries in Europe uh, offer, offer a job for um, uh, jóvenes este boys boys for uh, children in the country o sea, quiero decir, quiero decir que, que en Europa ofrece, en, en algunos países he sabido que ofrecen eh, trabajos a, a jóvenes para que tengan hijos allá y empiecen mm -hmm. a hablar más. Yes, that's it. Because they don't need a lot of people. They, they have a very small population. So they, they need people to, to produce. Yes, for uh, in the country, I'm more people old uh -huh. a lot of old people and, uh -huh. a lot of old people and no children no uh -huh. children uh, because i'm trying a, a voice no uh -huh. that's it yes that's it you're right and i know germany uh, no, not in Germany. I'm not uh, correct. In Italy, the government give you a house and give you a, a steady job, a permanent job, if you go to live there. If you go and you say, you know what, I want to live here, then the government gives you a house. Yes, in, uh, inclusive uh, of our house. Um, um, ay, no me barato. Barato. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Cheap, I said, actually. Thanks. Um, of our house cheaper. Cheap? Uh -huh. For internet. Offer, offer internet. Uh -huh, by, by internet. My internet. Ahí he visto muchas ofertas de casas muy baratas en sobre in periphery in in uh, Villas Villas fuera del inter, uh, Out of? Ya me hice bolas. <laughs> It's okay. Fuera, fuera, de, fuera de la ciudad. In... Out of the city. Oh, ay, una palabra tan fácil se me olvidó. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. They offer houses, they offer jobs. Because of that, they need people. But I don't know. Most of the people want to work in the United States because they consider that they are going to earn a lot of money or that there they are not going to have violence like in their countries. <coughs> but the, do you think that it is real that in the United States people won't have violence? No, I think it's more violence and um, discrimination. Mm -hmm, that's it. For Latin, for Latin, for people Latin. And, but uh, every everybody have. Um, have arrived United States. Uh -huh. Everybody has arrived or has to arrive. I think so. Uh, people, um, ¿cómo le digo? O sea, ya por costumbre se piensa que es una vida mejor solo ahí. Uh -huh. So it is the American dream. People think that there it is good, there's no poverty, a lot of work, 
happiness, good food, <laughs> and no, that's yes. not true. <coughs> and you know what? In my opinion, for example, in the United States, people suffer a lot of discrimination because, yes. because people consider that it is not necessary that more people go to the United States, no? American people think that there's a problem. But, well, I think that even it's a benefit for the United States that immigrants go to work because they are the people who really do the, uh, the heaviest works, the work that American people don't want to do. For example, to work in the ranch, to produce in the in the land, like uh, laborers, labor uh, land workers, you know, like in Mexico they, they are campesinos, farmers, have farmers, granjeros, uh -huh. um, um. farm workers. Trabajadores de la granja. Ok. Uh, Maiz, the, uh, la, the woman uh, work and maids. Mm -hmm. In the house uh, for Americans. Yes. Mm, uh, nannies for children, uh, uh, Americans. Uh -huh. And so for them, it is a benefit because they can have people to work. But at the same time, they discriminate people who immigrate because they consider that they are inferior. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, in salary, is more... Mm, mm, low. Uh -huh. uh, and um, far and um, dreams Americans. Yeah, that's it. In salary, well, salaries are lower. Lower? Lower, más bajo. Instead of more low, ah. it's lower. Uh -huh. Lower, uh -huh. ah, okay. That's it. Okay. All right. Far, far. And dreaming American. Yeah, it's, that's it. it. It's it. I'm it, dream. No, really. Uh -huh, that's it. <laughs> so you know what? Um, I remember time ago I went to the United States to study. I was enrolled in a course. It was a scholarship that the government, the Mexican government, gave to me. So I was there for a short time, for a period, to take a course. And so the people in there, the directors of the program, told me, Maggie, you are a very good teacher. Here, you can help us to teach people to uh, learn how to speak Spanish. Because in the United States, people learn to speak Spanish. Ah, uh, okay. And so they told me, Maggie, you can work. But I said, you know what? It sounds like, maybe, maybe it sounds like beautiful. It's a opportunity. But I said, and what about my children? Because I have three university children, young adult children. Oh, okay. Yes, and I, they were uh, starting their studies in the university. My, my daughter is studying oh. at Fes Aragón in UNAM. My son is studying at Huamas Capotzalco. And so for them, it was pretty difficult to get to pass the exam and to be registered in the university. Mm -hmm. And there in the university, of in, 
southern Indiana, they told me, you can take your children little by little, one by one, bring them here, we help you. And I felt ridiculous. Because I said, no, my children are studying in a very good school there in Mexico. They have got their dream of uh, entering to study in UNAM, to study in WAM. And I am going to tell them, leave your school and uh, come here for looking for a, for a opportunity. I said, no, no, <laughs> of course not. Not, not more. It, it's difficult for you, for that's, children. Yeah, that's it. So that's why I decided not to go. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> it is a problem for me. Your but, life is here. Uh -huh, and guess what? After, after that, uh, whenever uh, I came back to Mexico, a year after Donald Trump was elected as a president of the United States, and there began the deportations. Yes. The deportation. And I said, Maggie, it was a very good decision you make. What could it have happened? You take your children if you stay there, and later on, your children are deported, or you are deported. No, horrible. Yeah, so I said, very good decision to come back to Mexico. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And so in that case, let's suppose that I could have been deported or one of my children. So my family would have been separated like this. And yes. that, yes, that is something that could have been very, really painful. And what about you, Patti? Don't you know about the case of anyone who has been deported or who has had some problems like this? It's um, bad. Uh, the, the people... Uh, Mm. So far, humiliation. Uh -huh. Humiliation. Humiliation. Uh, and and arrive at your country. Derrotados. Mm. No sé cómo se dice derrotados. Deported. Deported. Eh, pero derrotados, teacher. Ah. Eh, Viden. Viden. Ajá. And, and, and continue humiliation. Yes, that's it. Continuously humiliate. Con, continu, con, ¿Cómo? Continuously. Continuously. Ajá, humiliated. Hum, humiliated. That's right. Yes, that's it. You're right. That's so sad. But well, in my case, for example, for me, it is much better to stay in Mexico and to look for a position here. It's my country and I love it. I'm, 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 yes, I'm, I'm, I'm also. And for me, in my case, uh, it's difficult. Um, change country for last years in working in the bank. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. And my son and my grandson, it's like, like, like here, I'm not move, I don't move. Yeah, that's it. And I think that it is not necessary. No. Some people think that here it is not possible to make money, that here it is not possible to have a good life, but I think that it is not true. No, I think I know opportunity. Um, 
I, um, no money, Ajá. not work. O sea, si no trabajo, pues no hay dinero. Ajá, that's it. If we don't work, there's no money, of course. Sí, But, I'm, I'm not work for no money and looking, looking, uh, more money not working. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. That's it. And that's not the point. Of course, if we want money, we have to work. It's correct. All right. Thank you very much, Patty. Well, you know what? I think that this topic is very interesting and very extensive. So we can be working, talking and talking for a long time. But well, you know what we have finished for today. I don't know if you have any question, any commentary. No. Thanks. No? Thanks right. for our paciencia. Patience. <laughs> Patience. No, that's a honor for me to be working with you. So thank you very much for your attendance, your participation, and your attendance. Have a very good vacation time. Thanks. Uh, igualmente. Teacher, muchas gracias. Thanks to you. Good night. Good night.